Pale in Red. I think it's the first time here on Gordon Guitar, but uh, with this beautiful mellow song called October Passed Me By. So, cool song to learn. We will look at four different grips, we can say, uh, based upon different chords. But that is what we need for the song and no need for any capable. So that is great. Let's start this one up. I'm going to give you the grips only so we don't need to go over the full chords. So the first grip here will be based upon a C. The only thing you need to hold here will be 3rd fret A string and 1st fret B string. Okay, so that's the C grip. Then we will call the next chord a CB, okay? So we'll just switch the bass note here to the B notes. That's the reason for the name here. So that will be 2nd fret A string and 1st fret B string. So just keep that. Then the next chord will be A minor and that will be just the open A string here. You're gonna use that as the new bass and you're gonna stay with this 1st fret B string. And then we have the final chord, the G. So you go up here to the 3rd fret E string now. And that's the new bass, the G note. And you're gonna stay with this 1st fret B string. So this first fret B string will be glued here through this entire song here, all right? So that's the different grips, C, C, B, A minor, and G, all right? So when we play this now, we will play pretty fast and we'll play four times of a certain pattern here for each and every chord when we play this song. So we go over that now. So the C, you hold it like this, 3rd fret A string and 1st fret B string. One round of it will be like this. Okay, so you start with the 3rd fret A string and then you answer with open G and 1st B together. And that is one round. So when we play four rounds, which we're gonna do here for the song, so... That is four rounds, pretty fast, so something like that, all right? Then we switch to the CB now, and you had exact same pattern here. One round will be now instead starting with the second fret A string, and you answer with the open G and first B together. That's one round, so four rounds. Same goes now with the A minor. Now instead you have the open A as the new bass. And you answer in the same way, open G and first B together. So four rounds. And the final chord, guess what? It's the same pattern here, the G. Now you have the new bass on third E string in the bass. And you answer with open G and first B together. So four rounds here will be So now we have the tools to go into the song. Starts here in the first verse. You're gonna have the chord progression C four times, C B four times, A four times, and back to C B four times. That is one chord progression. You're gonna play that for four rounds. So one round sounds like this, a little bit slower than standard tempo. and that is your first verse. There comes this refrain, uh, lungs you don't have to run. Okay, that's where we are in the lyrics. And um, here you're gonna play C four times, then C, B four times, A minor four times, and G four times. That chord progression, C, C, B, A minor, G, you play that for two rounds. So, a little bit slower, sounds like this. Then comes the second verse played in the same way as the first one and the same goes with the second refrain we just looked at played in the same way as the one we just learned. Then comes the third verse 
in the lyrics it wasn't all good yeah it wasn't all pretty now you're just gonna play one down per chord so you can just actually keep the chords as they are okay uh, so just keep them as they are you can play a little bit more on the bass strings so just play the kind of the bass note like this so I'm gonna play the following chords C the C B the A the C B then C C B A and G that is how I handle the third verse. Just one down per chord, C, C, B, A, C, B, then C, C, B, A, G. All right. Then comes the bridge parts in the lyrics, I met you at the wrong time. You're gonna go back to this picking now. So we're gonna go for C four times, C, B four times, A four times, C, B four times, C four times, C B four times, A four times, and C B four times. So two rounds of C C B A C B. All right, many C's here in the song, and then we have this outro part. Uh, you're gonna play again one down per chord, and now the chord progression will be C, C B A and G. That chord progression for four times, one down per chord. And that will be the outro and then we have also like an instrumental outro above that in the end and you're gonna go back to the picking and play C four times C B four times A minor four times and C B four times that chord progression for two rounds and that will end girl in reds October passed me by so pretty soon we are uh, in November, so a uh, very suiting song for this time of the year. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope that helped. Till next time, stay tuned.